day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. It's so critical. I, I there's, just, a, there's a secular song by a uh, high player, but not high player, but like Earth Wind Fire, you can't get what you never had. We don't have that. When we're born, when we're born, when we're born into this world system, we're cut off from God, spiritually cut off from God, right? And so what is required for us to, to even impart, I uh, mean to, to, to direct that kind of passion towards somebody, we don't have it in us. And it has to be imparted to us by God Himself. So he says. If you've been even allowed to give good gifts, then how much more will you have to probably give it in the Holy Ghost that has, right? So we're in a situation where we got to actually ask God for the love that we need to love Him, right? And then we got to ask God for, you know, we get the Holy Spirit, which has all the, the elements in it, right. but we don't have it in it of ourselves. So if it, if it was parallel, I, it may be, I can't, it okay, I understand so, what you're saying, it's it, instantaneous. It, it, you get it, you give it, you get it, you give it. Um, I can understand why you can say that. Well, 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 I can say, I can put it this way. Uh, how can you have a relationship with God and kill your brother, steal from your brother, <laughs> lie to your brother? I see what I'm saying is, you, 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 you can't, if you're sitting there trying to- You can have a relationship. You just don't have <laughs> well, an understanding of what that relationship is built on. You, you, you haven't renewed your mind in, in your areas mind uh that concern those types of actions so the more you find out the love god has for you okay based on you when you look at self you internalize self and you realize all that you are yeah and all that you lack okay and that god loves you in and of that right then you can move forward. You, you know, I threw it. Then right? you can move forward because when you, I mean, when I look at me, Myron, <laughs> <laughs> what I've done and what I've gone through, and, and the love that God has for me, and and how He 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 addresses me, how He He protects me, how He cares for me, how He speaks to me. Yes, sir. Uh, then how could I hold anything toward right. anybody Come on. if God loves me in that condition? Yeah. So when you understand that, then it's hard for you not to be that good Samaritan. You know, I think you know what I'm saying? I do. It's, it's I, very, very, very hard. I think and as long as that is the basis of me walking in this world, then it's tough. Now, I can tell you this. Since we've done this CIT on those two greatest commandments, <laughs> you love God with all your heart, mind, soul, strength. Yes, sir. Go and ahead. You love your, likewise, love your neighbor. Bruh, that love your neighbor has been messing me Because <laughs> Myron, Myron <laughs> is put in, in, you know, put at bay. Uh-huh. Put in chest over and over and over, yep. and over and over and over all day. When I get around people, Myron's put in check. Myron yep. has to. <laughs> Myron has to. Yep. Has to stop. And I had to assess. Yes. And then respond. Yeah. Because if Myron doesn't respond, Myron reacts, and when Myron reacts, Myron exists and not Christ. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> that that's the issue right is is, is allowing christ to respond and yeah. not mine yeah yeah and it, and, and that's that's just it right there but then that's the yeah. levels of maturity that we operate in i think as we grow we have a tendency not to respond we don't react i mean we we respond more and we react less because those who are spiritually better friends of the week you're going to deal with people who are not spiritually mature and so they're gonna come across like little children. They're gonna be selfish, self-seeking, self-serving, and everything. Oh yeah, else. it's about self. And you still gotta love them. And that, and that's when, that's when the, the growth thing comes in, you know, because the, the the end, 
end of the day, we still got to be drawing people to Christ. Yes. yes. We got to allow him to use us to bring other folks to the prison, which means sometimes folks going to slap you on the one cheek. Yeah, they're going to do that. They're going to rob you. <laughs> they're going to lie to you. They're going to betray you. But they're in the midst of growing. And as they do these things, now this is this is not you know, this ain't even tip of the iceberg. This stuff gets down to the place where it really hurts. I don't know if anybody else been through anything like that, but man, people that you hold near and dear, you think will be some of the major ones that say will turn on you to get you away from them. Because you're trying to bring that person to the knowledge of the Lord. If he can turn that person against you or you against that person, the, the mission is finished for you. But you know, there, there's another side to that coin, Elder. Uh, there's people that don't want to be around you. And that's fine. Because you are Christ-like. That's right. Because <laughs> they can't look at you and not see themselves, the, the, the distance that they are right. from God. They see they see Christ in you. They see God in you, and they do not want to be nowhere near and around you. Yeah. And so, <laughs> the love that you have for God, and the demonstrating and demonstrating that in your life, will cause people to just back on you. Yeah. What? They what? they they will they will actually feel uncomfortable yes. around you. They do. Let me let me th let me ask you a question in vain of what you're saying. And, and not call you acting like a butthole. Okay. Yeah, right, right. If you if, if they see the lawgiver, if they see the lawgiver in you, they're more uncomfortable with you, right? But if they see love from you, and love doesn't mean I have to sit there and uh, drop money off to every person that that's on the corner begging for money. It, it doesn't mean to be a sucker. It just means that everything you do, you do it from a love perspective. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And, if, and if they see that, I'm not sure they're going to be. I mean, if, if, if I know when you're talking like the story you said in the, in the past about Bible thumper, right? You know, you mm -hmm. going out yeah. And, and yeah. preaching the gospel. But the gospel can, can, can also be preached by our actions out of love, like yeah. the yeah. carols, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good example. And, and, and I, I, I think I think you, you, you misunderstood what I was saying, uh, Pastor. What I was saying is in, in 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 the mindset of someone wanting to do harm or do ill will towards you. Right. If you're if you're you know just constantly spreading the law. I think you will be more apt to find people that will do harm and do ill exactly. will for you. Yeah. But if you're living this life and you're in the through the love of God in yes, the actions yes. of, of and Christ like, right. I think that they will feel uncomfortable in coming at you in that manner. Oh yeah, now we're talking different. That, right. That's I, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, because I was saying is that if, if you remember, Christ drove, drew a lot of crowd of people to show his compassion towards people, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what I that's what I'm saying is when we're talking about love the Lord that God, all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind, and all that strength or might, and to love thy neighbor thyself, if we put those two in practice, and Ellen, I think you can do them in practice, because you do do it for your children. Right, Elder? You, you, nobody's teaching you how to love your children. Well, I got some lessons. <laughs> I did. I, I did. I had. I had to. Uh, <laughs> I, I did. I had to go to remediation. I mean, not not not. I mean, a professional remediation, but I did have to go before God because um, I had some things twisted. Yeah. But what? you did. What I mean? Oh yeah, I did. I mean, it was like. Um, it's, it's like I always thought love was expressed in being happy, go lucky kind of. You know what I'm saying? Okay, gotcha. gotcha. I was, I'm not. I was not a stern disciplinarian. I let my kids get away with stuff that they should have gotten jacked up on. But but I was I was you know, gonna be. There. But their mom kind of came in and balanced the scale on it. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I know what the parents. Yeah, man. I, I, I wanted too much. Wanted to be the friend. Yeah. Instead of being a parent, and, and uh, 
at some point that didn't work too well. Well, I think it did. I didn't work out pretty good at the end, right? Because it came well, out. Well, yeah, but we were growing in the midst of it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody right. was evolving as we went through the process. And uh, we still have some some fallout from some of the relationships that we had in the past. Uh, sometimes they still forget that I'm at least 30 years older than the oldest. <laughs> And we don't really know the pain or you know, just give me a couple yeah. minutes. I, I made more mistakes than you made moves. Hey, but, look, <laughs> but as you get old anyway, they they you do become more of a, an advisor. An yeah, advisor, yeah. That's what I tell them now. See, you I'm your advisor. You have to Yeah. You can't impose laws on them. You can only impose give advice and That's love it. them. And love them. Right? Yeah. And, I like know, the one scripture where it said God ain't got no grandchildren. I, I never thought about that before. <laughs> he ain't got no yes, children, right, right. You gotta stand there for yourself eventually. And that's what so I said. The hardest thing to do with a child is to is to get it in their minds that the advice you give them is for them. Yes, <laughs> yeah. You know, to benefit them, not yes. not us. And and a lot of times they can't receive it because they don't understand that. That's the mindset. It's it's so that they'll grow, so that they don't have to deal with things, you know. And though it's advice, you know, it, a lot of times it's sound advice from experience. Oh yeah. And and, and not not experiencing good things, it's good from stuff. experiencing the bad stuff. That's so what you I'm don't want about. them to go through that. So you give them some advice, but a lot of times, you know, they are your seed, and so they just as hard headed as we exactly. were. Well, they and you got to learn them. some things on your own. They do got to do that. You know, one of the things that you have to notice that even for yourself, how much you appreciate what your parents did do, did for you when they had mm -hmm. their own. They, they do, Elvin. They, 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 they know that you got them through school. You fed them. You know, mm -hmm. you, you clothed them. You, you, you didn't kill them. You know what I mean? You were there <laughs> for them. Even as a, if you think about the fact that saying a father is a friend, that friend clothed them. Unlike a, a, a friend we have in the, in the world, right? This friend uh, changed them, changed the diapers. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. See, who you know, I don't know any child that thinks in that manner. When they, when, 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 it, when they're in a situation with their parent, right? And they're they're at odds. Yeah. Over, or it could be something small or something major. They're not gonna go back. And reflect you know and, and what was given them over that time they're not going to think on that all they're it, thinking about is the situation and circumstance that they're in now and wait, the way they they they've learned how to cope and handle things and their decision making is going to be based upon that they now, do. They do. there was something that my kids felt were normal and they didn't even think about that somebody had to put that norm in place Mm -hmm. <laughs> they only remember they remember the things that were were negative. Most of them they remember things that were good. I remember all of it because I was different to, 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 to them leaving, and yeah. I know what we had to go through in order for them to just you know to to, to get through a day. What you know, gauntlets had to be run through, and what hardships had. To move. They don't know that because it wasn't a part they, of the experience. They, never well, let them in. Never let them right. in on that. Right, because so, they didn't have to get through the day. They didn't yeah. have right? Their food, they just, was, it was already given to them. They opened the refrigerator the food in it. But I remember the first time one of them opened the refrigerator and there was no food in there, they lost it. I did, <laughs> there ain't no food in it. <laughs> and they were, full, they were full grown at the time. Exactly. Said, you got money, go buy some food. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but, but I think Brother Adams, they, they, were, they appreciated it later. They were so still. accustomed to everything being perfect. It's like us waking up in the sun, don't wake up too, you know? Exactly. They had they had to worry about an electricity bill, anything else like that. No, I, think, I, had to worry about I think they appreciate it. You know, brother. Adam, now, now they don't. I mean, they will when they get to be parents. I when mean, they get to get parents, when they get to be on their own, oh, they, yeah, yeah, they, they got to pay those bills. And they got to yep. pay those credit cards. Now it makes sense. To them makes more, sense. But right. Exactly. And they and they appreciate it then. I I'm, mean, I'm glad. I'm glad for the future. You know, because future tells. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're gonna go through this stuff. This ain't this ain't new. Nothing right. come upon me that's not common to man. So my children are gonna go through the same things I did in some degree or another. And then they have a better understanding of what we, what, what what I was talking about or trying to do or did. But uh 
Yeah, man, this is a one man trip. Every time a person comes to the planet, they got to get in Jesus' face, too. It does. And all that's a part of that process. Well, that was scripture said, you know, we, we come to him, we draw toward God when we know yeah. we need him. And, yeah, and I exactly. think we have to, they, that takes time. That takes yeah, time. Yeah, it does. Take a life. Take but a life. You know, you go from, you, you go from, you know, not, not knowing you need God, you know, you're born in that condition and everything, and you may be taught some stuff, but you really don't understand that you need him until you understand you need him. And then you go from, okay, well, I need God to save me, save my soul. You go to that knowledge of needing God. And then somewhere along the way, hopefully, you learn that you need God well, the, the other thing, after you learn that you need God to save you, then you go to the point to where you need God in the situations where your life is threatened, you know, bad things are happening, and uh -huh. you really concentrate on God in that aspect. Then you move on to where you know you need God in every aspect of sir. your life. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And when I you did. get there is when you get to the point to where now you're producing fruit because... Yeah. God is 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 being the priority mo the priority and motivation of your existence and understanding that like Christ gave his life for this world to do the will of God <laughs> it is the exact same example that we are to follow we are to give our life for this way this, this world to do the will of God. Yes, and sir. so it's the, the the hardest thing is allowing Christ to make the decisions for you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. not not self. That and, that is that is the living sacrifice hey, you that know, pleases God. I that about, right there. I thought about the fact is that when he said train I'll check this out, train the child the way they should go. Is that if we, as we raise children, now grandchildren, when they happen, is to show them all your life, you, that you need Christ. You know what I mean? So, so one, of, one, of the, one of the ministries is your example of I need him. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you know, you can almost say, I don't, I don't, I give thanks to him. To be able to be with you today, I give thanks to him. Get me across, like you flew all the way across the country, right? Thank I, God. I, I thought this froze up. Yeah. The dispensation kind of just. Did. Mm. All right, loose here, Satan. Let that let that man speak. <laughs> let that man speak. Speak, Elder. <laughs> Hey, look, I think when you broke, I think when you broke, you can hear us. But he can't. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Speak no. speak. What I was saying was that the, 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 the dispensation that we're under, that gives a lot of insight to the dynamic itself. We don't know the plan of salvation. We don't even know our own plan of salvation. God has to kind of map that out for us of walking through it. But he's in the process of saving every soul that was lost in the earth. So he came to seek and say that was your law. I cannot begin to handle the task that, that Lord. So for me not to listen to God is for me to really be taking up space. We're not on the planet because we've got nothing else to do. We're on the planet to gain uh, uh, an awareness and respect for his sovereignty. And we're also on the planet to be used of him to get other people to say, to get other people in, in his presence. So the processes aren't really that difficult to manage. I mean, to comprehend, but because we were born cut off from him initially, we got to go through this training system, you know, this renewing of the mind that positions us to be used more effectively of him. And I think that that's what we're experiencing on an ongoing basis. He say the branch that does not produce will be cut off and thrown into the fire, but the one that does will be pruned that it might produce even more. So here we are, some of us being pruned, uh, some of us are being cut off and thrown into the fire, but the intent is to get that one, that one that still need to be saved. And whether we want to be a part of that process or not, we are. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change. I mean, 
he, we got opposition out there to that. So we got to go by himself and overwhelming the, the opposition to us. But the end game is that somebody get their soul saved. That's why we do what we do. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but, you know, and I think the fact is that, you know, I, I stuck the First Corinthians 13 up there. And we didn't go over it, but I, I put it up there for a minute for you guys to take a look at it. And is that I think our life parallel must live by love, faith, and hope. That's it. You know, those are the ones in there, right? I have hope that a person, not only for things I do, but for the other person, they have hope in their, their success, right? But the Bible says that our thing about what you're talking is our living, how we live. And I think that's why it said, love thy neighbor thyself. I got to live by faith. Yes. And, and, but what is that really? Huh? The what living. is that? What is that? What does it look like? I think what does it look like? I think, I think, yeah, when I, when I say you're living by faith, I what, think, what's up? I can tell you exactly what that looks like. That <laughs> looks like, Father, if it is your will, now you're preaching. I apply my faith to this and knowing that it shall come to pass. That is living by faith. That living by in, faith. In a nutshell. And yeah. you can't do that without the word because faith cometh right. by yeah. hearing. You're hearing by the word. And, and, and look at so and look God. At, but look and it's the substance. It does. It does. Of and what is hopeful, which is God's will. And, and I think the evidence that, of those things that are not seen, which is it, God's will. Exactly. And you know, I think, Brother Addison, that's why I think this when we re look at 13 again, living by faith. It's, 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 I mean, I looked at it is that when somebody sees you live by faith, but that faith is done in love. It, it, it makes a big difference, so right? Now he gonna 